What's this? Hector's happy thoughts? Oh, I ain't happy. Ugh. There. These are just my thoughts. Um, hello. I am Hector. And today I'm going to tell you about my thoughts. Thought number six. If you find yourself facing off against a lion, the best thing to do is jump on his back. Thought number seven. If you find yourself facing off against a kangaroo... The best thing to do is not to face off a kangaroo in the first place. They aren't as nice as they look. What, Pastor Steve? Well, I was going to say, the best thing to do is to block your face. Well, that makes sense, but trust me on this one, Hector. Kangaroos look cute and cuddly, but they're very powerful creatures. Uh, all right, I'll change my thought. You know, all these thoughts seem to have a common theme, Hector. Oh, yeah, what's that? Well, all these things that you've mentioned, they all have a lot of power. Well, yeah, I like things that are powerful, like me. Oh, so you think you're pretty powerful, do you? Yes, I do. Would you like to put that to the test? Well, what do you got in mind? How about an arm wrestling match? You are on, sir. All right, you ready? One, two, three. Oh! That's what I'm talking about. Ah! I told you I was the strongest scuppet in Scuppetan. Ow! Oh, wow, I'm really impressed, Hector. But, man, as strong as you are, did you know that there's someone out there stronger than you? Not a chance. Uh, yep. Yeah. See, God is the most powerful being that there ever will be. Hmm, all right. Do you think he'd be up for an arm wrestling match? I mean, I want to see if he can prove it and all. Well, maybe one day, but God shows his power in a lot of different miraculous ways. Like, for example, the Egyptians and the Israelites saw God's power when he sent the plagues on Egypt, or when he parted the Red Sea so that the Israelites could escape. Parting a sea, huh? I guess I might not be able to do that. Nah, probably not. When's the last time he did that? Oh, well, it's been a long time for sure, but God shows his power in a lot of different ways. And the biggest way that God shows his power is through his love and his forgiveness. Well, those don't sound like powerful things. Parting a sea? That sounds like a bigger deal to me. Well, it, it sounds like that. But, but listen, God's love and God's forgiveness are the most powerful things that we have in our life. See, you could lift an elephant, you could arm wrestle the strongest man in the world and beat him, and that still is no match for the power of God's love and his forgiveness. All right, all right. Thought number 11, God is powerful. He would probably win an arm wrestling match, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna try someday if I can. I hope you get a chance to, that'd be fun to watch. Hey, how about a little rematch between us? No, uh, are you sure you want to do this again? I see the kids are watching. I know, yeah, I really want to do this. Okay, you ready? All right. All right, we're going to do this on three. One, two, three. Yeah. Uh, what, what did you do? Come on, Hector, look at your arms. Uh, how about best two out of three? Okay, very good. All right. Now, the winner of this is the champion of Scuppetin, okay? You got it. All Here right. we go. We'll do it on three. All right. One, two, three.